Hey guys, and today I'm doing a YouTube best camera guide video, basically talking about all of my favorite cameras to do YouTube videos with and filming in general just because they are very good and very good quality cameras. So I have like a vlogging camera, a camcorder, two DSLRs, and all of these are my favorites. So if you are looking for a good camera to film videos with, if you have your own YouTube channel or you just like filming in general, then I would recommend these ones. So yeah, if you want to see what cameras I am using and love then keep on watching. I'm going to start with my all-time favorite vlogging camera and it is this one. This is Canon PowerShot SX260 HS camera and it looks like this. So this is a digital camera but it's quite big for digital cameras because sometimes they come kind of smaller but this is bigger but at least you know it's the good quality one like this camera is absolutely amazing i pretty much love everything about this i always take it with me anywhere i go like holiday when they want to vlog this is the one that's always going with me so this is a full hd camera and this also has 20x zoom which i thought wouldn't be very necessary when i got this this is not exactly the feature that i thought oh yeah that's why i want this camera like it was advertised online and everywhere as 20x zoom camera but i didn't think i would need it but shortly enough i realized it became one of my favorite features for vlogging because sometimes you see something and it's quite far away and you just can't capture it very nicely in videos because you can't zoom so much or when you zoom in your video loses the quality this does not lose the quality if I zoom in even very like far it will still stay the same high full HD quality which is amazing and you can zoom really really far even if you can't see it properly with your own eyes you can zoom in and see it on the camera screen really clearly also I like the colors here the colors are very sharp and very bright, amazing and vibrant, both with pictures and with videos. So this camera is also one of my favorite to take pictures with. Now onto the disadvantages of this camera, I personally don't think there are many at all. Well, one thing is it doesn't have a flip up screen, so it doesn't have a viewfinder if you are vlogging, for example like you won't be able to see yourself. Some people hate that and I thought at start that flip screen would be so much better than this. But you get used to not seeing yourself and you kind of know that you are in frame anyway. I also think it's kind of an advantage because at least it forces me to look directly into the lens as opposed to looking at myself because that can be quite annoying. Okay guys, so as you are probably able to tell, I changed my camera because now I'm going to show you camcorder on which I film most of my videos and this is my Canon Vixia HFM 31 so it looks like this and it's basically my favorite thing to film sitting down videos ever just because it's so easy to use it has a flip up screen but then you can turn it this way so you can see on the viewfinder what you are doing and this also has a very nice sharp focus, whereas on the camera that I'm filming right now, which is my Canon Rebel T4i camera, where I want to try and focus on this camera, it will make a noise. So let me show you what I mean. And then I'm going to focus on myself. And again, you have that noise. At the moment, I'm on manual focus on my big camera, so that's why I have to press a button. Usually, you can have autofocus as well. With this, you have autofocus, and it's very quick and silent, which I love because it's very nice and convenient. For filming sitting down videos, it's not for as good for lookbooks, though, because in a dark environment, this wouldn't be very sharp of a quality. So, for example, outside, when it's a bit cloudy or dark, this wouldn't be a very good quality, but where you have bright lights. The quality of this is absolutely flawless and amazing. You can put a memory card here because you do have a slot but this also has a built-in memory. It says built-in memory. Oh god you can't see. It says, can you read that now? It says built-in memory 32 gigabytes. So I have a 32 gigabytes of memory which is amazing because you don't even have to bring anything with you. You can just bring this camera without a memory card in and you're good to go. I will warn you though, however, if you are from the UK, I don't think you can get this. I really wanted it. I wanted it so badly. I ordered it from American website and not enough. I had to pay shipping on that website. I had to pay 
a lot on custom and to pick it up from the post office as well so this ended up being my most expensive camera actually okay so back to recording with my camcorder now I'm going to move on to my DSLR cameras which brings me to my newest edition which is my Canon Rebel T4i DSLR camera which looks like this so that's the front and that's how it looks on the back and this I got quite recently, but I honestly love it so much. I've tried it a couple of times and the quality is amazing. Again, it's Full HD quality, which is all I'm about. I love my Full HD videos. It's very sharp and you have a blurry background and just very, very nice. One of the things I love about this and one of the reasons why I chose this camera is because it has flip-up screen. So you have this screen and you can basically open it and have it just like that or you can twist it and see yourself when you are filming yourself which for DSLR cameras I think is very important because they have tendency to be very blurry when they are out of focus so you have to keep checking if you are in focus if you find there is also touch screen just like with my previous camera so I can just touch it easily or I can use the buttons also if you want to just take pictures of something or videos of something else you can put it back like that but obviously it also has the protection, the screen protection so you can just twist it this way and store it like that so your screen doesn't get dirty or damaged or scratched and also with this you have an autofocus or manual focus and what I carry this with is usually my gigantic bag when I go filming you can compare it to my face it's a lot bigger than my face it's massive it has three compartments the only thing is this is quite pricey because you pay for the brand I know all the cameras I showed you so far were Canons because I personally love Canon I love that brand I trust the brand because I know I'm getting the quality but you also pay for the brand and sometimes you can find the same or similar quality with something a lot cheaper just because it's not Canon so I'm going to show you an alternative to this camera if you don't want to pay that much it's not the same the features are not the same but I would say the quality is very similar and this is my Pentax camera that comes in this bag which I carry around it's a lot smaller as the ones that I carry for Canon as you can probably tell but this is again a DSLR camera this is my Pentax KX camera and this is a lot lighter like I would say straight away as an advantage of this as opposed to my Canon one I would say it's a lot lot lighter so and this is a little bit smaller the quality of this is similar the only thing I would say though it doesn't have a flip screen so it doesn't have a viewfinder so you can't see yourself so what I used to do when I used to film with this is usually use a mirror and the second thing is this doesn't have an automatic focus so you can only focus this manually so if the viewfinder and autofocus are the main features you are looking for then go for the Canon Rebel but if you just want the quality because this is also a good HD quality I wouldn't say the colors are as vibrant as, and as bright and sharp but still they're nice this also comes with this lens which is really quite long and this is 200 zoom which I used to love for photography okay guys so that is the end I'm actually going to Paris next week and I'm going to try and record one more video before I leave but if I want then just to let you know I will be in Paris and I will try to record two videos while I'm there I'm only going for a week but yeah thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoyed if you did then please like it and subscribe to me if you're not already and that was my next one bye